good morning in this class we are going to deal with the problems of econometrics or limitations of econometrics there are so many assumptions regarding the classical linear regression model the violation or the deviation of this assumption is known as the problem of econometrics there are mainly three limitations first one multi collinearity second one auto correlation and third one heteroscedasticity first we look upon what is multi collinearity and what are the causes of multi collinearity the term multi collinearity is due to ragnar frisch he was a norwegian economist he also coined the term microeconomics and macroeconomics in 1933 multi collinearity means the existence of a perfect or exact linear relationship among some or all the explanatory variables of a regression model so one of the important assumption of classical linear regression model is that the independent variables are not correlated with each other the violation of this assumption is known as the problem of multi collinearity if the explanatory variables are perfectly correlated that is known as perfect multi collinearity that will leads to breakdown of least square method but in practice neither the situation or complete absence of multi collinearity is often met so multi collinearity is essentially a sample phenomenon in this equation Y A is equal to beta one plus beta two x i plus beta three x two i plus u i. This is the P R of form that is population regression function. In this equation, x i and x two i are the two independent variables or explanatory variables. The assumption is that the explanatory variables are not correlated with each other. if we violate this assumption that means xi and x2i are violate this assumption these are correlated with each other the problem of multi collinearity arises multi collinearity is a problem of degree not of kind we further wants to verify whether econometric model is exact or inexact next one what are the causes of multi collinearity there are so many reasons or what are the causes of multi collinearity first one data collection method employed for example sampling over a limited range of the values taken by the regressors in the population that will leads to the problem of multi collinearity then second one model specification for example uh, adding polynomial terms to a regression model especially from the range of x variable is small then next problem that is over determined model can cause multi collinearity this is happen when the model has more explanatory variables than the number of observations then next one it can arise due to inherent characteristics of some economic variables to move together in uh, uh, to move together over time it uh, this is because the economic magnitudes are influenced by the same factors these are the causes or sources of multi collinearity next important limitation that is auto correlation the term auto correlation may be defined as correlation between members of series of observation ordered in time or space that means the covariance of ui uj is equal to 0 or expectation of ui uj is equal to 0 which means the successive value of disturbance term u are temporally independent that means the disturbance occurring at any point of time is not related to any other disturbance term if the value of u in any particular period is correlated with its own preceding value that leads to the problem of auto correlation then next one what are the causes of auto correlation first important causes that is inertia a salient feature of most economic 
situation or economic time series is inertia or sluggishness. In time series such as GNP, gross national product, price index, production, employment, etc. exhibit cyclical patterns. Therefore, in regression, in time series data, this cyclical pattern or fluctuation makes the successive observation uh, likely to be independent. Next important reason is specification bias. This specification bias arising due to exclusion of relevant variables or it can due to incorrect functional forms can be the source of autocorrelation. Then third important causes that is lag. Lag means in a time series regression function, the consumption expenditure on income, we studied the consumption expenditure on income, uh, the consumption expenditure uh, in the current period is depends upon the co consumption expenditure of a previous year. So the lag is the main causes of autocorrelation. Then next one, data transformation. Sometimes autocorrelation may be induced as a result of transforming the original model into different forms. This is leads to the problem of autocorrelation. These are the causes of autocorrelation. Next important limitation that is heteroscedasticity. And uh, the important assumption of classical linear regression model is that the variance of disturbance term ui is also known as sigma square. That means this is also known as homoscedasticity. That means expectation of ui square is equal to sigma square. This is the assumption of homoscedasticity. But the violation of this assumption is known as heteroscedasticity, which means that expectation of ui square is equal to sigma i square, where, where i is equal to 1, 2, 3, up to n. This is the problem of heteroscedasticity. Next one. Let us check what are the different sources of heteroscedasticity. First important cause that is presence of outliers. Outliers is an observation that is much different in order in relation to the observation in the sample. Then next one, misspecification of the mo regression model. Then another source of heteroscedasticity includes incorrect data transformation. For example, ratio or first different transformation then next one incorrect functional forms that means linear versus log linear etc hope you all clear about this topic if you have any doubt please comment below thank you